So welcome. Welcome to the annual meeting of the AGD in this challenging year. So we are talking about new tools in genomics. It's a sponsor's satellite session. And uh, it's a really unusual place and unusual times, as you, as you imagine. So this is streamed to the platform. And what you hear now was said five seconds ago. So that's the time uh, it takes from the Zoom meeting where the speakers and presenters are locked in to bring it to the house based environment, which you can see on your screen. So just a few introductory comments and especially thanks to the organizers. So Peter Nuremberg and Peter Kravitz and his team did a terrific job in setting up this meeting because over the last 20 years or even more, we had, we had been in Potsdam and the environment was known, uh, everything was set up. So it was easy uh, to, to, do, to do the meetings and everybody did know uh, what he had to do. In this time, we needed, we needed to set up a complete new environment and hopefully you enjoy this as much as we did during the setup. And I especially thank also Rana Aldizi and Akash Mantri and also Mariam Sharaf uh, for, for helping and setting this, uh, this up. And you will see in the next one and a half day uh, what they have achieved and, and how we are going to present that to you. Also, very much um, uh, a lot of thanks to Sylvia Pickel and Gabi Thorn who had managed to get this event organized. So this is um, since yesterday probably known to a number of, of people. It's the Helmholtz Forum. And um, you're probably asking why I'm showing that. Probably because it's new, not everybody can see that in life uh, during these days. But one thing is uh, to be remembered, uh, Alexander von Humboldt and also Johann Karl Friedrich Gauss. And I thought it has, it has also a link to our current, to our current situation. Uh, because Alexander von Humboldt was traveling a lot. So he was very interested. He was, he was well known in this area and he had a communication with, uh, with Gauss and Gauss was completely different. Gauss avoided larger and extended journeys. So he was, he was some sort of in a self-defined lockdown while Humboldt was traveling and doing research, and this was his unity. So I thought that's, that's a pretty, pretty nice, pretty nice intro uh, to think about that, that not everything of this lockdown is, is bad. You can do tremendous good research and science, as well as doing that during traveling, during normal times, but also during the lockdown period, we don't need to stop ourselves so we can enjoy that and go, go beyond that and foster new, uh, new situations. So a few housekeeping comments. Um, that, has, that was seen when you entered uh, the, the, uh, the link and you will see uh, the, the live sessions and watching the live sessions in the, in the stream. Uh, so therefore, this has the problem that you need, that you cannot ask questions per microphone. The beauty about that is we have no background noise. So that is, that is the advantage we have. But in order to enable you to ask questions, uh, you can do that. And I just want to uh, tell you if you enlarge the screen using the button here, which is probably the case, 
uh, then you can escape the full screen by just pressing escape in order to enter a question which is below the screen what, what can be seen there so these questions are then taken into our zoom session and after the talk you need to give us five minutes um, you need to, to, to give us five minutes to, to, um, to, answer, to answer those questions. You can walk through that and enter also into the e-poster gallery. The e-posters are there. Uh, what I can see is, is also that some of you are asking questions I cannot see or hear anything, just black screen, don't worry. Uh, our support, uh, Akash and, and Rani will, will take care about that. And uh, the ones who, who are having problems uh, are going to be helped into, into the session. Uh, so here you can, you can see the poster gallery and can walk through that and click on uh, each posters during the time when you when you are not going to listen to the, to the talks you can go in and out we have um, tried to uh, do it similar to regular sessions where we do have coffee breaks also we have uh, coffee breaks during during our virtual lecture uh, not presenting the coffee itself. I hope you have all access to a coffee machine because otherwise it would be a real disaster, especially for me. Uh, but if you if you want during the coffee break also visit uh, the exhibitors, then just go and go to the booth booth section and click on it. There are uh, interesting interesting presentations. Uh, uh, visible and also you can you can talk to some of the people because the booths are manned and stuffed and also some sort of a launch is available um, if you click on this you will see uh, right right here an avatar with your name it's not it's not my original one but this one can be taken to one of those spaces and you will see other people walking around. And if you get close by, then the connection is established. You will see with whom you are gonna talk and then you can use your microphone and the video to get in contact and talk to each other. Maybe you will, you will see and find somebody who is who is uh, uh, whom you know, and you you are going to talk to talk to them. 